Good morning, everyone. Uh, no used uh, cars of interest today. So we went and bought a new car, and we bought a Mustang. The uh, 2015 Mustang GT. And I thought, you know what would be fun? Uh, how about we tune this thing to make it handle properly, you know, instead of, uh, you know, wiping out and wiping out the crowd and everything. And uh, we achieved just that. So, although not punching a thousand horsepower or whatever the, the common norm is for a Mustang these days, um, we did achieve a perfect 50-50 weight balance. And the thing is, uh, I hate to say it, it's uh, absolutely boring to drive because it's too easy. Uh, it's absolutely too easy to, to get this thing around the track with these. It's simple. There's no... I mean, uh, obviously, it's got the torque and horsepower. If I wanted to break it loose, it would break loose without a problem. But if you're literally driving to, you know, get around the track in first place, uh, yeah, we succeeded pretty easily with this thing. Um, with that 50-50 weight balance, it's just... it's glued to the track um, like I said you can make it break loose if you want but it's pretty glued to the track there's not much uh, slippage at all going around the corner there's no uh, you know weight problems as far as weight shifting uh, we didn't weight reduce this thing or nothing so uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop out of here and uh, we'll sh we'll show what we did with it it's very 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 boring to drive now because it's not you know wiping out on your turns it's not uh you know peeling the tires or nothing it it makes it i've literally made the mustang a boring car to drive <laughs> i didn't think that was even possible but there it is a very boring audi looking car very boring to drive i like the idea that's still somewhat retro styled but uh, i don't know it looks too much like an audi to me Anyway, we got to sit in at uh, 597 performance points. Uh, getting to the 600 performance points, we were at 599 before we decided, you know what, let's just put the weight ballast in and go for 50-50. And there it is. Front rear weight balance, 50-50. It's a perfect 50-50. Uh, we got 454 horsepower in it, and it does weigh a hefty 3,900 pounds. She's a, a fat horse. It should be a Clydesdale or a draft horse. <laughs> but we got sports tires in it. We put the suspension in it, uh, dropped it to 93 millimeters in the front, 103 in the rear, increased the compression expansion, and balanced natural frequency as we normally do. Uh, weight balance ballast we put 100 kilograms all the way to the rear and that's what gave us our 50 50 uh, we're sitting we got a uh, fully customized manual sitting at 270 plenty of get up and go but also some long legs sports air filter semi racing muffler uh, exhaust manifold racing sport pads and brakes and your lightweight uh, semi racing clutch and flywheel and that's it that's the uh, 5050 5.0 right there. That's, uh, yeah, very balanced and very easy to drive. Uh, the interior is quite normal, modern vehicles nowadays. TV in the middle and all kinds of little doodads you don't need. But they still kind of did throw some of the classic in there with your analog gauges and, you know, you kind of your simplistic design. Um, that mustangs are you know known for uh but let me uh, know what you guys think uh did i ruin the car by making it boring to drive <laughs> or was it a smart thing to make it 50 50. i'll let you guys uh pump your own conclusions thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one have a good one